Uh, hello guys, welcome to this unboxing video. Um, you guys are probably gonna click off in a few seconds. Uh, if you can spare some time, please watch this video. Well, anyway, so this is the Doctor Strange from Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, it is part of the Marvel Art of Mil uh, Armadillo Bath series. Build a figure series. Okay, I'm, I'm losing my words. Okay, um, you know what? You guys can see, right? Yeah, this is Doctor Strange. I'm not gonna, like, just point out that's Doctor Strange, my guy. Um, well, if you guys want to read this, pause the screen. I know it's a little bit slanted because my phone's a little bit down, but here's the other people in this bath series. Probably I'm not gonna pick them up. Maybe Spider-Man and Miles Morales, but nobody else, really. So I was, I, I, this is my second attempt, actually, at trying to unbox this. This is the second intro that I will be using. Okay, that, that kind of slid out there. Okay, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to carefully peel this because I don't want to damage it. So I looked at, I could have bought the Multiverse of Madness, Doctor Strange. But I didn't really like the figure. I didn't like the design of the pattern. I didn't... Well, I mean, I didn't know what was about it. Maybe the movie, the design will be a little bit better. What? What's happening here? Um, Maybe I can just cut down the side here. Okay, um, get that out. So, um, don't really want to damage the packaging, so, how do I, how do I pull out, oh yeah, do the side, okay, that makes sense, oh god, is there more tape somewhere, no, please, please don't be more tape, okay, so, uh, oh god, this is hard to pull out, oh god, God, I can't pull it out, my guy. Okay, I'm gonna try from the other side now. Because it's clearly not working from that side. Oh, oh, oh no. I just broke a little bit of the packaging. I mean, it was kind of expected, not gonna lie, but. Oh god, how do I? Ah, no. I'm gonna cut this part of the video. I'm just gonna come back when I. Oh no. Yeah, I'm just gonna come back after I unbox this because this is a hassle. Okay, so I'm back. Um. Well, here was the figure himself, but let's just get everything else out of the way. There was a manual that fell out. This thing, it was just saying all the choking hazards and warnings. So, the cape for the figure, I really like. I like better than the um, original Dark Exchange figure. I customized it, but I made a video short about it already. So, this Doctor Strange cape has a lot of detail inside. Um, and I like how it's basically, like... It's not connected here, so it's more movie accurate. And it looks better on the figure when I was looking at the pictures. Um, okay, let's look at the build of the head. Um, oh god. Oh god, I have to pull it out now. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I pulled it out. So here's Armadillo's head. So let me just try something real quick with this Armadillo's head. Oh god, can I? Oh god, it's way too tight. How do I remove this? Without basically dying my fingers. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna come back to it. We've got the best character in Marvel history. We've got Do Dr. Armadillo Strange. 
My god, the bat figure head is not useless after all. It actually fits on the Doctor Strange head. And just so you know, this is the old Doctor Strange figure. The old one that I customized, by the way. Okay, anyway, we can look at the rest of the parts, so... Oh god, how do I remove this without basically destroying it? Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure this one will be easy to pull out. Maybe? Don't be difficult, come on, come on. Oh, okay. So, usually, I watched some videos on this. This is usually sometimes warped. But mine came pretty straight. I mean, I did still some warpage. But I can fix this. I can fix this. But it looks so much better than the the grab, like the one where you just have to hold it. But th they fixed it with this one. So. So I need to use my to the grab. So there's some tape holding down the figures here. So, uh, okay, well, it's not a big thing. Okay, uh, okay, I got it out. So this is the second smaller one. So the this is basically a smaller one of the first one. I'll keep that to the side. Um, he comes with two. Oh god, wait. Okay, yeah, it didn't fall. So he comes with. Oh wait, sorry. Wait. He comes with two holding hands, or the same grabbing hands that the other Doctor Strange had, literally the same mold. If you look here, yeah, same mold, everything. Yeah, same thing. So I'm gonna keep this hands to the side. I'm sorry that I keep shaking the camera. Okay, so here's the, the figure itself. So I'm gonna be pulling it out now. Okay, how do I? got okay so i pulled it out of its imprisonment so we have the doctor strange figure standing up straight now oh god it has the new dumbbell joint so it can tilt its head to the side it can look up this far you can look down this far it has well, it has, well, um, what do you call this? Ratchet joints, maybe? I don't know. Well, I don't even know what that means. Bicep swivel. Double jointed hands. If I can, what? Are they warped? No, no, wait. Oh, no, they're just extremely, extraordinarily tight. I just didn't know that it, an action figure could be this tight, but this is how far it can go. Maybe it's gonna get easier the the more I use it. I mean, that's how action figures work. The other hand is the same way. So the upper body is entirely different from the first figure, but the lower body is the same. So the problem I, I've encountered and many other people have too, is whenever you bend it back forward, it just bends back. When you bend it back, it just starts trying to bend back, but it bends, it stays there a little bit. You can pivot it to side pretty good, to the other side pretty good. Mine's pretty good, so. The back cape, it does not have a solid cape. I had to make a, col uh, like a cloth cape so it doesn't get messed up. But I do have, it does have cuts here. So you can move your legs all the way back for the figure. So it, so it has double jointed knees. So it can bend at a, more than 90 degrees or a 90 degree angle. I don't know how, cause yeah. So it has um, upper, it has upper, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can move its bias to can, right? No, you can't. Okay. So there's a boot swivel right here. And then 
you've got good, well, regular feet movement and a pivot a little bit, I guess. Okay, so. Um, he does come with an eye of Ogamoto. I'm pretty sure he had it in the movie, didn't he? But, so the Doctor Strange figure itself, it looks great. The detail on this head sculpt is phenomenal. It looks exactly like Benedict Coverbadge. I already liked the old head because I customized it to look like a little bit better. But this looks way better. Because the eyes were a little bit too big. The paint job on this is great. The goat, the goat, uh, the goatee or the beard is more accurate to the film. Um, so let's try on the cape for him. So there's a peg on the back of, well, his back, where you just peg it in. Oh God, this is a really bendy. So how do I get it in? Okay, so I just click it in. Okay, so this is how he looks uh, with his cape on. He looks pretty nice. He looks extremely nice. Oh God, he, I just heard a crack from this figure. Like not like a crack like breaking. He fall. He falls backwards. He can't balance. Like you can balance him, but this figure is great. Also, oh wait, he also comes with like the portal opening hands. So it's really cool. So you can make a great stop motion with this figure. God, I'm afraid that this figure might break. So I'm gonna try to get this character into a position for the ending. So I'll be right back. So to conclude, um, this figure is great. You should definitely pick it up. This this was a phenomenal figure. Um, this is a great improvement from um, <laughs> well, Mister Armadillo, Doctor Freaking Strange here, and he fell over. Well. Bye, guys. I guess this is my OC now. Well, subscribe and like if you like this. And if you want more, comment.